Uh, I used to require the people in the laboratory I ran to write monthly progress reports, not so much because I wanted to learn what they'd done, but people get frustrated. And when they sit back at the end of the month and really look at what they've done, a lot happens. But day by day, it's not nearly so obvious. We want to say some of the stuff that's on Earth. And uh, you know, focusing around the biodiversity uh, idea is something that uh, we can use as a central theme to the track because uh, saving the organisms uh, that have developed over a couple of billion years of evolution, I think it's important. You know, Ed Wilson points out that we're losing species faster now than we have at any time since the demise of the dinosaurs. together here, uh, and most of the staff, or a lot of the staff, uh, here today, um, and because, partly because we want to be able to have this for future reference and for the staff that aren't here today and new staff we're going to hire in the future, we've asked our uh, crack team of people to kind of uh, uh, help record all of this, so Jack on the camera and Stacy working with Jack and Ed up here trying to get audio a little bit, and uh, Stacy Geiken uh, taking some photos here and there for our archives. Um, so that's, I think, all of our all of our team. And also, I wanted to point out, I don't know if you guys have seen this, this is just in. Uh, we have a new media celebrity on our staff, Mark Sanchez, right here, <laughs> in a, an article entitled, More Foundation Demonstrates Green on the Edge. Uh, Sanchez says, green is a state of mind. It was all about our green. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, the... Uh, the uh, Betty, met, most of you have met. If you haven't, uh, she really runs the show. We elected Ed a member of the board. Oh. And we also uh, took the action of freeing Lou from... <laughs> and I think that's been one of the things where we've really gotten better as a staff as well as a board is trying to coordinate it. <laughs> May have met her. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see. Any, uh, uh, just jump into this, you guys. Anybody else out here? And then you don't have to have your spouse or mother or whoever, whomever else sit there and be there for you, which is happening now all over. Well, you have to be such an advocate for your That's right, advocate for your family, a family member. Mm -hmm. So anyway, that, that to me is very, very important. I just, I'm also wanting to see it in more institutions. They were just so excited and pleased, and it's, it's rewarding. Let's put a date down. <laughs> this summer. <laughs> okay, well, then I've got to ask the question. So, so what special... Trophies. Would tell us a little bit more about the special fishing things that yeah. you won. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Gordon. Does you want to tell really us? know what a link cut is? Yeah. 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 Ugliest thing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> was the world record holder. Uh, first uh, one fish, but for all that beaten a couple of years ago by the wife of a man that was the yes. She 
she was the wife of one of the, uh, what do they call him? He was like a the sports, the sports uh, writer. No, no, but he was also something to do in British Columbia. That, uh, What's the point of view on that? No, no. no. <laughs> so many, how, big, how big was this fish you got? It was 46 46 inches long and 46 pounds. Wow. And it had a head like a balloon. <laughs> <laughs> and the person that had a basketball, you know, huge thing. And he could have swallowed a basketball. Did you get a, did you get a picture of it? With, with oh, yeah. Oh, okay. It was 16 pound class Andy Line. <laughs> IGFA. <laughs> <laughs> so really what we could do with our website is going to take a whole sporting green section. Of the, <laughs> the fishing news. Right? <laughs> Um, <laughs> I'll do some stuff instead of my tea. Eventually, you decide that uh, you know we're not making the progress. We're not going to achieve the results. This is not an area we ought to keep spending in. And I suppose uh, you always kill the programs too late in the cases where you kill them. The ones that are successful are less of a problem. Okay. Well, it's a pleasure to get up here and see everybody once in a while. I haven't done one of these open meetings in a long time. So. Uh, I'll come back in another five years. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, you know, we have an uh, incredible baseball team, which you're an honorary. Uh, here's the Salmon Nation shirt, and they don't fit. We have other sizes as well. We we're going to go with uh, Gone Fishing, Go Go, Nurse Betty. <laughs> <laughs> decided not to, uh, to uh, put names on them to now, but we yeah, have okay. a couple more upstairs that uh, they don't fit. I'll try to grow into it. <laughs> um, some of these names I don't know, and Ed was supposed to help me, but um, just want to introduce the uh, Salmon Nation team. Uh, <laughs> So, if Dr. Moore, if you want to come up, we'll present this to you, and I think that he's going to have some words, too. Thank you very much. Uh, I'm really honored. It's especially an honor to uh, receive something like this uh, near where you grew up. You know, in the business I'm in, an expert is an engineer at least 300 miles from home. And I think it usually turns out that way with respect to 
uh, getting honors too. So getting one here is really neat. This thing's as heavy as it looks. <laughs> you know, I didn't quite know what to expect tonight. Uh, first of all, so go back and see the page. I guess. Thank you. <laughs> That's great. Gordon can give up his membership at the gym now and just pump that. That's pretty, that's pretty, that's pretty heavy. That's great. It's really um, pretty extraordinary for those of us, again, at the, at the Moore Foundation who've had a chance to spend some time and, and to, with Gordon and Betty and the family and just, um, you know, just to, to know people who, through all of the things that you've done in your life and all the experience you've had, you're the same people. All things considered, that's quite a legacy for a couple of kids from down on the peninsula. Look at her. <laughs> it's all right. I got abused in this one's before, so it's somebody yeah. else's turn. <laughs> yeah, the first time when they were here, yeah, so it was bad. Betty, and uh, do you all know this is Betty Moore? <laughs> and Betty was here the last time we did the Employee of the Month, and some folks got together here and, and decided who ought to be the Employee of the Month, and Betty is going to do the unveiling. I think it's beautifully wrapped. Thank you. Who's in there? Who is it? Who is it? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I think I'll get the taller ones. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty short here. Why the month? Very. Betty, the other time they rang the bell was at Lloyd's whenever a ship sunk around the world. Oh, 